So here we have Matt there for, for Dell, responsible for the uh, the G series, which is a, a right. very popular line. Very G3, popular. Three, five, and seven has been great. So you've updated them with the new RTX cards, is that right? Absolutely, yeah. So we've got new uh, G5 and G7 products that we announced this year at CES. Um, brand new GPUs. So we've got the new NVIDIA RTX uh, GPUs up to 2080 MQ, which is a big enhancement from last year where we only support up to 1060 GTX. So a um, lot of additional power. We also go up to Core i9 on the CPU. So eighth gen Intel processors. You still do like a 4K panel. They had that as an option, didn't you? I think on the uh, we don't have 4K panels on G series. So okay. yeah, so only full HD. We offer a 60 hertz, but we've introduced a new 144 hertz uh, panel on G5 nice. and G7. Yeah. yeah. I remember my 1080p one. Was, I think it was an LG panel I had. It was not that good. The AUO panel was a lot better. You could overclock yeah. it a bit. Yeah. So what yeah. panel the manufacturer you using now for your 1080p? Uh, we don't disclose that. We've okay. got many vendors we work with, so we don't. We don't. You know, it depends on what you get, but they all they all meet our uh, quality standards. And, nice. Uh, okay. Yeah. So, uh, but the chassis wise is exactly the same as before. Is that, that right? No, it's actually a brand new chassis. Is that so, right? Okay. Yeah, absolutely. So our G7 and G5, uh, completely new chassis, narrow border design construction. Okay. Can you show us? Perhaps? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So this is our 17 inch. So you see the three side narrow border, um, very clean industrial design, look and feel. Uh, and like I said, we've we've added a lot of thermal capability, a lot of high performance capability to these products. Any fan control this time? Yes, it... absolutely. Yeah. So we have um, we've actually all the all the new G series products will have Alienware Command Center, nice. which is typically move. only on Alienware. Yeah. So we've ported them down to other parts of the portfolio. So all the new G5, G7 products that you can buy starting today will have Alienware Command Center. Good that's so, nice. Okay. Um, that's good software, yeah. Yeah, sure. absolutely. So you can control your thermals. You can, you know, you have your game library. You can do your FX lighting. You can do your Nehemic sound control, and it maps to each individual game. So if you have a library of 100 games, it preloads all of that based on your settings that you set for that particular game. Okay, so really see, fantastic. Yeah, and I see now you have RGB keys. Um, yep. So this is something new for this year as well. So. Um, so you're starting to see little elements of Alienware start to trickle down to the portfolio. So this just happens to be one of them. Okay. We have a true four zone RGB keyboard. Um, this is something that we haven't done historically. We've only had blue or red backlight or white. Uh, so to have RGB is a, is a big oh, deal great. for us. People yeah. complain that blue is hard to see sometimes. Yeah, a little bit. We've heard yeah. a couple complaints. Yeah, um, we're working on that, it, uh, you know, I because- okay with the, I had the, the Alpine white one yeah nice yes you. yeah yeah absolutely oh, um, nice. let's see here we're also we mentioned the 144 Hertz panel we'll have killer wireless now um, here on G series which we didn't have previously okay basically prioritizes your network traffic to prioritize gameplay versus other network traffic okay, nice. um, that's in your home um, well, so what's um, you know there's a lot of crossover here now with Alienware and the, the Dell line yeah I mean uh, of course, this I imagine is still a bit cheaper than the Alienware line. One would suspect more of a budget gamer. Absolutely, yeah. So our our new G5 starts at nine hundred and ninety nine dollars, which is very affordable. That's with a ten fifty Ti yeah. graphics card, an i five, and an eight gigs of RAM. Um, the G7, which which is right there, actually is a uh, hundred dollars more. So okay. what the G7 15 inch gives you is a sub 20 millimeter chassis. So super thin, all metal construction. So oh, it's actually nice. metal yeah. on the A cover, metal on the C and metal on the bottom. Um, and so, and then you get all the same features that we talked about, uh, high performance up to 2080 MQ, RGB keyboard, uh, 144 Hertz panel, all of that. I like so, the look of that. Yeah, this one in particular is actually something that we announced today it, this is our OLED panel. So, no way. Yes. Oh yeah. my gosh. So this is our OLED panel. So this is this will be a third panel option that we'll offer on G7. Uh, and so. Does that mean I'm going to have to sell my uh, Alienware 13? You're going to have to. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if that's an upgrade or a downgrade. I don't know. But um, 60 hertz OLED though, right? 60 hertz OLED. Yep. 100,000 to one contrast ratio. 100% DCI-P3 color space one millisecond response time. So if you're a gamer and you want 
high fidelity uh, and want that super fast response yeah, time. Yeah, for content creation, so, I mean, it's a no-brainer. Yeah, it's content creation as well, so. And uh, this can be configured to uh, what, the, the i7, of course, and then what, the 2060? Actually, it can be configured up to i9. i9 as well, okay. Yeah, all the way up to 2080 MQ. 2080 yeah, MQ. so. <laughs> you know what, I think so, yeah, yeah, but I've got big pockets. I'm really, I'm almost done, but I'm really okay. impressed. G-Series, the evolution here. Yes. This is not even the same aesthetic. This is a whole new, this is amazing. You guys, I hope you have a lot of them, because yeah. they're going to sell. Now, is there a G3 solution? Sorry? Is there a G3 solution in the works? There is zone? a G3 solution. Um, and we're constantly upgrading sure. our roadmap. So the G3 we have out today, it starts at a very aggressive price point, $799. Oh, wow. Up from there. G5 starts at 999. G7 15 starts at 1099. Now, so is the, is the G5 pretty much the same as the G7? Does that look differentiated much? Well, so we'll assort the configurations differently, uh, but from a from a theoretical point of view on the chassis, it can accommodate the same amount of thermal yeah, capacity, okay. right? So G7, you're probably going to see more assortments with the RGB keyboard, with OLED, of course, 144 hertz panels. G5 will be a little bit more stripped down, okay. but maybe people will want to upgrade that to be 2070 MQ graphics with an i7. Maybe they won't invest in the i9. Will it be a bit thicker chassis too, a little, you know, not a sleek It'll looking. be a little bit thicker, yeah. yeah. Bit thicker too, so yeah. where this is 20 millimeters, the G5 is around 23, 24. Okay. Yeah. It's still an improvement. Uh, I like it. That's yeah, yeah. so this is the incredible. thinnest uh, G7, thinnest G-series we've made to date. So. Now the Dell 7577, G5, G7, both use, as well as the recent Alienware, is not the M series. They had that inner skeletal system that added a great deal of rigidity. I'm assuming that's applied here as well. So this, that's one of the big differences you'll see between Alienware and G series is, is with the materials. So this is stamped aluminum. So that's how we get the three side metal construction is we use aluminum. That gives us thinness, but that doesn't give us lower weight necessarily. Alienware is going to invest in those higher advanced materials, so the magnesium yeah, alloy, alloy yeah. right? And that gets them about a pound lighter. So if you want to make that investment, I mean, Alienware is, you know, no holds barred. They're going to do the greatest thing that they can. Yep. And so they're going to make that investment. In order for us to hit that 1099 price point, we have to make certain trade-offs, and that's why. Uh, that's why we have that. So it's a little heavier, but at least you get something that's nice and thin, feels good in your hands. So, uh, so looking around the back of the 15-inch uh, the G7, we have some good I.O. ports there, so that's very nice. Display port. So battery options, 60 watt and 90 watt hour. Fantastic. And a Thunderbolt port located here. Um, yeah, it's painted blue uh, to be able to show off some of those, uh, some of the features of the oh, cooling technology nice. inside. So yeah, we've got the, the clear panel on the bottom to show off what we have. This is the uh, G515 Special Edition. So it comes in this Alpine white with the blue accents and that clear panel on the bottom. Is there much uh, extra premium cost on the in the special edition? Uh, no, I think that the the premium cost is, or the the step up for the SE edition is, I think it's like twenty dollars. Yeah. So it's not I mean, a huge. I mean, after I interviewed you, you were packed. I bought the I bought the white edition oh, G7. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. Yes. This looks. Uh, it's one of my favorites. Yeah, I, and I love that white. It's the same white. You know, with it the is. Same finish. I love it. Mm -hmm. Instant hit. I like yes. the look of that. Um, so we've, we've had a change in the hinge, um, moving uh, roughly like half of the ports to the back now. So a lot of stuff plugs in the back, your Ethernet, your um, power cord, uh, your HDMI, all of that plugs in in the back, which is nice. It frees up some space on the side. So you've just got, you know, your USB um, and a uh, micro, uh, micro SD card. We have to make notes, it's a good thing. From a usability standpoint, 
being able to unclip this from the top is nice. Otherwise, yes. you are stuck doing this. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's a pain in the, the butt. Uh, but if you could just agree. go like that, unclip it. I wish more manufacturers did this. Nice job. Yeah. And what GPU can this be configured with, uh, the G5? Uh, the G5 goes up to a uh, 2080 Max-Q. The, the, the RTX, Max -Q. the brand it's new RTX. Now, isn't it? I know, yes. <laughs> uh, I know, I know. And I'm, I'm excited as, as RTX rolls out.